Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at the DX Transformer Gum uh, set for Fortress Maximus. Basically what these are, uh, you can see there's a company called Kabaya that makes these. They're very similar to like Mini Pla that Bandai does for Sentai, uh, but they're for various Transformer figures. So this is the three boxes that make up Fortress Maximus. You can see over here we have Command Base plus Charger. This one we have Launcher Base plus Fortress. And this one we have Sky Base plus Power Glide. So each one is kind of a different section of Fortress Maximus. But they tried to make it so that if you could only get one, they kind of stand on their own. They tried to do like a little configuration so it almost looks like a little Micro Master base on its own. And then each one comes with a little robot. So you get a little Power Glide, you get a little Wind Charger. And then over here you actually get the head. You get Fortress, who's the headmaster for Fortress Maximus. So... This is something I've been wanting to check out for a while. I've looked all over these boxes and I can't find an exact date. I think they're sometime in either like the early to mid 2000s. Might even be like early 2010s. But I really cannot find a date on here at all. For, I, I feel like when I bought them somewhere I saw 2013 but I don't know that for a fact. But you can see here that there's three boxes. This shows the little wind charger which is absolutely adorable. But you can see here's three, here's one, here's two. And I kind of like the idea of them being like separate little bases. It's kind of neat. But then obviously you can put them all together and then you get the full city mode. You get the full like flying fortress mode and then you get the full robot mode. So I just think they're really neat. I mean, it's mini plot for Transformers basically, which is two things I really like now put together. I can't believe it's taken me this long to check these out. But, uh, like I said, I, I've known about them, but I've never really been able to find the ones that I want. And then I was on Mandarake looking for something else, and I don't know how it suddenly dawned on me. I was like, oh yeah, those things, I should look for them. And then I found them. I got them for a pretty decent price. I think it was like 1,700 yen for all three of these, which seems crazy good deal to me. I don't know. Um, I mean, that's about $5 a box, which I feel like these are pretty big. So <laughs> I'm pretty excited. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead, get these open, and put them all together, and then we'll take a closer look. All right, so here are the three sets fully put together and stickered up. I wanted to keep them separate just to show you the little battle stations at first, and then eventually I'll put it all together to form Fortress Maximus. But I think they're kind of neat. I mean, even if you could only get one of them for some reason, I think they're still fun to be had with the way they set them up. They do kind of look like little MicroMaster battle stations, which is kind of cool. So the first one over here is kind of the main torso of Fortress Maximus, and you can see the super tiny little wind charger. He's kind of adorable. Um... He's got a decent amount of stickers, and I have to say the stickers actually, knock on wood, hold on fairly decently. And he does transform. You just go ahead and push the two arms in and then flip the feet around just like the original G1 toy. And he transforms into a super tiny little wind charger. <laughs> I think it's kind of cool, though. I really like it. Uh, taking a look at the base part. It's pretty simplistic at this point. You can see it's kind of just the torso. But you do have a nice sticker here for the like cockpit this does not open but you get a nice sticker for it you get the gun here another gun on the side a sticker here for the autobot symbol now what you can do is this whole part will rock backwards and you can see that this piece on the back kind of flips up this ramp so you can take wind charger and put him right there and then close this up and then use this and then little guy rolls right out. So it's kind of cool. He's got one set of wheels in his torso, actually. These wheels are just stickers that are molded in. But it's pretty cool. You can open this up if you want to put something inside there. This is the only part of the model I had trouble with. This piece here actually broke. Um, you can see that one of the pegs on the side broke off. And it's just because it's just it's very thin and it was kind of flimsy plastic at the time. I don't know. It seems a little bit more structured now. Maybe the room was too hot or something or I don't know. But uh, it, it felt really soft the other day when I was trying to put it in. And uh, I tried to, I got, and the other problem was it didn't quite fit. Like it was a very, very snug fit. And I kind of got this side in and then I went to push this in and it just snapped it right off. Now the nice thing is when you put this back, it doesn't really need the other peg because it is such a tight fit so it's not going anywhere so i mean you can still use it as intended you can kind of have it flip open like that you can still uh you'll see later on that um fortress fits in there just like the original toy but this flips around 
you know, it kind of comes a little cockeyed, but you can straighten it out. And it stays in place. I mean, it, of all the things to break, it's not that big a deal. You can see here that this will eventually flip up, but right now it forms the ramp and you have some nice stickers there. So all in all, pretty cool. I love the little wind charger and I love the little battle station there, which I think is pretty cool. So next on, we'll move to the second one here. So as you can see, you get a really tiny little fortress or Cerebros here in America. Now, full disclosure, I did put the stickers on the wrong side. I did the legs first. And I didn't realize that, th I thought this was going to be the back because it was hollow. Um, so I put the stickers on here and I'm thinking, they really don't fit over all this weird molded detail. And I was right because they're not meant to. They're meant to cover the holes here. Um, but by that point, trying to rip them off, I would have just destroyed them anyway. So I just left them. But you do put the stickers here over the hands, over the chest. On the back here, uh, you can transform him into the headmaster. So this flips around. These come down. Or I guess actually they straighten this way. And then this flips back. And you can see you got the sticker for the head there. You got stickers for the horns. I mean, that's really cool. I think that's really... I mean, it's as intricate as I feel like the original G1 toy at least. So I can't really complain <laughs> for a little candy toy. But yeah, I like that a lot. I think that's really cool. Obviously, this little R head does not transform. But I think that would be asking a lot to expect it to. I'm really happy with this. I think that's really fun. So putting that down, we'll take a look at, I believe this one's called Sky Base. Um, that's pretty cool. I mean, they just have the, the <laughs> this thing actually can spin around. I don't really see why, but I guess if you just want the platform to move around. Uh, obviously, this gun can flip out. It's a little difficult to get it to do so, but it can. There we go. Maybe almost have it. Almost have it. Come on now. There we go. So that can flip out like this. This gun can rotate around if you want. And then they just have the hand down here. This little thing opens up. I think he would fit in there. Ooh. Yeah, he like barely fits in there. But if you want to put a little wind charger in there, you certainly can. Which I think is pretty cool. I like that a lot. So put him back over there. But yeah, I mean, for, for this little outpost, there's not really much for it to do, but it does have some guns. So, also this thing on the side flips down. You have to kind of move this out of the way. And this will flip down if you want. You can move this around or keep it down or whatever. Also, when you eventually take the arm off to transform them into Fort Max, this is going to come off, so then this will come all the way down. But... For now, I'll put this back on. So that's the second sky base with the little fortress, which I think is awesome. And next we'll move on to the next one. I'm going to push this a little bit further back out of the way. So here we go. Here is the basically last foot arm combo. Now you get a little power glide. Now again, why they chose wind charger and power glide, I have no idea. They're just <laughs> random little mini bots, but you can see just two stickers here. This guy's very simple. This is just a gray piece for the face that you peg on. How this works is to transform him, you have to unpeg the wing, flip it around, and now peg it in on the side here. So he doesn't really transform so much as he comes apart and gets put together decently. But it's all right. I mean, he's a mini bot. I can't really complain. You don't move this bottom part at all. He just has the feet out to the side here. So, again, not amazing, but I get it. It's fine. They're tiny. I'm okay with it. And then you have a nice ramp here. Now, this is actually pretty cool. You have a spring-loaded feature. It actually comes with a spring that you put in there. So you push that closed, and then it'll launch. So let's try. It. go ahead and try it here with Wind Charger. It doesn't really work with Power Glide, but let's try this. Wow! <laughs> that shot out of there like a dart, so be careful, I guess. <laughs> you also have a ramp over here which is pretty cool so if you would have him i think he can actually store can he fit inside i think he can almost fit inside as i wedge him in here and now i can't ever get him out there we go oh but i did take his legs off that's the nice thing is you can just go ahead pop it right back on no biggie there so it just has a ramp you know not nothing too exciting there just a ramp but closes up Obviously, you have the Master Sword, which you're going to use in the robot mode. But they just have you peg it on here on the back for now. But either way, I think it's cool. I like it. Again, you have the gun. 
if you want to try to get this to pop out. There we go. And if you wanted wind charger to fit in that foot either, you could, either one. So I think it's cool. I really like that they did this. I think the little configurations are fun. Like if for some reason you could only find one, at least you could do something with it. It's not just a pile of parts on the floor until you get the others. So I appreciate that. But of course we have to put it all together and form the true Fortress Maximus city mode. All right, so I've gone ahead and moved the figures to the side. Now, I will say one thing. If you really do like these little configurations, maybe you don't want to put it in Fortress Maximus mode because I have a feeling some of the pieces would be fairly difficult to take apart after you put them together. I don't want to say impossible. You could definitely do it, but I feel like the more times you're going to be unpegging some of these things, you might be chancing it. And I save that mostly for this connection here um, when you're going to peg the ramp into the back of the hand here. This is going to be a pretty tight connection, I would think. So once this is in here, it might be a little difficult to get that out of there, but we'll see. Could be not that bad. All right, so now that we have the pieces, we're going to take this, come around to the back here, and you're going to see that there's peg holes right here. That's going to peg into these giant pegs here on the side. There we go. And then I'm going to put this down. And I think in the city mode, you fold this up. And I think you leave it like this, maybe. Peg that in. Okay, so there you have kind of the back of the city. So you come around to the front. And then you're going to peg the arms. Right here. Like so. Pretty straightforward assembly. But there you go. You have the Candy Toy Kabaya Fortress Maximus City Mode. I love it. I really do. <laughs> I think it's really cool. Um, I don't have a, a true G1 Fort Maximus. I do have Brave Maximus from Car Robots, but he doesn't have all the guns and accessories and everything. Now, if you wanted, you could flip the guns out and leave them out and just have, you know, like a gun that way. But the city mode, I think, pretty much emphasizes no guns. But either way, you can put that there like that. You can lift this open if you want. If you want to take this and... And now it has come off, so I will flip it back like this. You can take Fortress. Um, you just kind of bend them like that, and then you just kind of sit it in here like so. That's how they've always kind of stored in there. I mean, to me, he's a citizen of the city. I'd rather just have him walking around, but you can certainly do whichever you prefer. You can put your other little guys up here. Have them hanging around. So I think it's really cool. I'm trying to see, is there somewhere I can put the sword? I guess technically I could. Could I peg it behind? You might be able to get it behind this gun. So like if I take this off temporarily and then peg this back in where it was when it was a separate playset. Is that going to... I was going to see if it fits. No, it doesn't really. Okay. I mean, you could do it out to the side if you wanted, but that looks kind of silly. So let's go ahead and put this back on because I really like the look of the gun on here like this. So anyway, there you go. There is your city mode. You can put him back in here if you like to, whatever you prefer. So I'm going to take all these guys off to the side. And now we will go ahead and transform into the battleship mode. So I'll be honest, out of the two, I think I like city mode more than battleship mode, but still going to take a look at it. So we're going to go ahead, fold this back up if you have it out, fold these two ramps up, just like this. Now I believe, do you leave the ramp here out the back? I have to double check. Yeah, I think you do, because I really don't think there's anywhere else to put it. Um, but you're going to move this around. The legs will kind of pop out to the side like this as you kind of rotate them down. And then I guess you're going to have to rotate this. Hmm. I guess we'll have to rotate it around like this. Okay, so you have to do it like this. Like this. So as you spin this out to the side, 
you have to come down and rotate this as well so that you'll spin both pieces. You just have to be careful because for a second I'm like, wait, how do the, I know these bend, but I have to find out where the joint is so I don't bend something wrong incorrectly. And then you just fold the feet down. And then this piece, you flip the gun out and then rotate this down as well. And then you will put the guns forward. I guess this goes down a little bit more. There we go. So there you go. There is the battleship mode. It's okay. Like, I get it. You know, if he really needs to travel somewhere. But at this point, it's really just the robot laying down. <laughs> I've always thought that's what it is. Um, if you wanted, you could close this up if you wanted to, like, leave the ramp. But, you know, so if he's traveling around, he doesn't want a gaping hole in the back or something. You could close that up. And then just pop the guns up. Yeah, they're, the guns are a little difficult to get out of here, I gotta be honest. A minor nitpick, but... There's just not a great place to grab them. But once you get them, it's fine. So there you go. There is the battleship mode. Not amazing, not terrible. Just kind of okay. You could open this. It looks like there's a door there on the side. I think on this side you could... Well, you'd have to move this out of the way and then... You could do the same, but... Oh, yeah, I forgot to put those ramps down in the city mode. Either way, you can put the ramps down <laughs> in the city mode. Um, but yeah, now we'll go ahead, we'll get into the robot transformation. It's not very difficult from here. Alright, so all you do, push these back down, fold the feet back up. Boom, now he's standing. I'm gonna tilt this up a little bit. Uh, this, if you want, you can leave it like this. If you don't, you can uh, fold this down and then kind of swing this around the back. Whatever you prefer. Uh, you're going to split this apart. I guess I should take the gun off of here. And then you're going to take this gun off. This is going to split apart. Swing around. And then this ramp apparently is going to fall down. Uh, now there's a tiny little peg hole right below the larger peg hole. And that's going to peg onto these two pegs here. Now, I would recommend just kind of loosely tabbing it in. Because if you push it all the way in, it's probably going to be difficult to get off later. You can rotate this down. And this will lay around his back. Apparently this is going to be a problem. So I might leave this back here where it was. Just because it just falls down otherwise. Rotate the arms down. Bends at the elbow. And then rotate the fists. Like so. And then you're pretty much all set. If you didn't have this piece closed up, obviously you would push that back down on there. Where is Fortress? We will take the head, transform it. And then this drops right in there and there is fortress maximus now we'll go ahead we'll give him the master sword this is kind of a snug fit i don't know why some of these are like way more snug than they need to be i'll be honest and i don't really understand why they're like this and then we'll give him this gun as well and then technically this should be around the back we'll see how it holds up but there you go there is fortress maximus he looks pretty good. I really like it. Uh, articulation wise, you can move the arms here at the shoulder. You have that 90 degrees in the elbow. You have the wrist movement. Although I'd be careful. I don't know if you can see this or not. Um, this one's not a problem, but for some reason this one, uh, it was another tight fit when I pegged the, the fist into the arm. And so it stressed the plastic. Now it seems to be okay, but I'm just really hoping that that doesn't eventually break. But you can do wrist movement there. Um, I really wish this would stop falling off. I guess I'm going to have to leave this out, as, even though I don't really want to, but I'll flip the gun around. Uh, you can move the hip like this uh, out to the side. It doesn't really have a knee because he has this transformation for the city mode, and you have an ankle movement there, but again, it's not really going to do anything for you in this mode. <laughs> he's pretty much just going to stand here and move his arms, and that's what he's going to do, and that's fine. He looks good. I'm very excited to have him, especially with the sword. I think that's a fantastic touch. That was something that the U.S. version should have had. Now, you also can do 
If you move the arms up, he does have these guns in the inside. Ooh, I'm going to have to move this all the way around. Okay, there we go. So if you want to give him that, like, all, all blaster mode, you can pull out the guns on the feet here. I promise you can pull the guns out on the feet. There we go. Yeah, that was much easier. So there you go. You can give them the all kind of blaster mode. Which is pretty cool. Now it does have, in the original G1 toy, these little things flipped open. And they do flip open here. And you can kind of see that there's guns molded in there, but there's no piece in there. So they used to flip up as well. I don't really see the point in having them flip open if there's no guns in there, but whatever. So <laughs> you can give them all of the guns deployed. I think it's a pretty cool look. I just, I really love the sword. I'm really happy to have the sword because, like I said, the original U.S. version did not have the sword. Now, you still have this gun left over as well. I don't really know what to do with this. Um, can you put it in here? Uh, yeah, I guess you can. I would be careful just because I feel like it's going to get stuck in there. But it's already in there, so what are you going to do? Uh, but yeah, you could store it in there if you want to. I think technically you could put one of these guys, and probably Wind Charger would fit in there as well if you wanted If you wanted to store them. Uh, otherwise, yeah, he's really cool. I really, really like this robot mode. And I was really excited to finally get my hands on this. And definitely, I thought, for what I think is a reasonable price. Um, yeah, very cool. So I really love this. I gotta be honest. Um... For me, personally, I never had the traditional Fortress Maximus, so even just to get a smaller version of him, I think is really, really fun. The build was actually not bad to put together. I wouldn't say it's as polished as like a Bandai Super Mini Plot or even a regular Bandai Mini Plot. Um, you did have to cut the pieces out of the sprues. They didn't have that kind of nice pop-out ability that normal Bandai Mini Plot has. Um, but still, like I said, it was fun to put together. The stickers, knock on wood, are actually holding very well. I think they actually look pretty good. Um, the only problem I ran into was that little gate there breaking. And that's the only problem I had, but it stays in place. It, you know, it fits in there snugly that it doesn't even really matter. So luckily it turned out to not really be an issue. Um, the colors look great. I think the little, uh, wind charger and power glide were certainly a surprise. I mean, they were on the box, but I just mean it's, it's a very weird inclusion. They're not from the same season or time frame. I don't even think they're on the show together at the same time. So they're weird choices, but they're fun. I love them. Uh, the fact that they both transform is really cool. Even though Power Glide's transformation is more of a, you know, take this apart, put it in differently. Wind Charger actually does transform, so that's really cool. I love the city mode, the the robot mode. The battleship mode is fine, but again, that's a, a failing of the original toy design. I can't blame the mini plot for that. It's just repli it's replicating it. Um, but it's a good time. Like I said, I found a set of these... All three for like 1,700 yen, which is like 15 bucks, something like that, on Mandarake. And it's a good time. I love it. I think it's really fun. And it's a decent scale uh, just for fun. Here is, because I have him handy, um, Jet Icarus from Super Mini Pla. So you can see he's a little bit taller. Here is uh, Jet Garuda from Super Mini Pla. So you can see he's a little bit shorter. So that's kind of where you are scale wise he's in between those two <laughs> but i think it's fun i really do i think it's an excellent uh little mini plot equivalent of whatever you know takara tomi is doing they have this kabaya company i don't know if these are still being made as i mean i know this one is not making new ones but i'm saying i don't know if kabaya is still making new transformer kits i kind of looked around mandorake again and uh, I kind of just see the same ones that I had seen. They did like a Scramble City set where you could buy just like boxes of various limbs. And then you buy the commanders, I think, separately. And then you could make uh, Gestalt teams, which is pretty cool. I think it's a neat idea. I know they did. The other ones that I have personally, I have the Brain Masters from Victory. I have uh, Star Convoy. A uh, couple other, uh, I think, some Master Force characters. So I mostly wanted to get stuff from the later Japanese seasons because I don't really have a lot of figures of those. I don't have a lot of representations of those characters. But uh, yeah, I just think it's fun. I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm a mini plot model fan, whatever you want to say. So uh, model, mini plot, and Transformers, two things I love. It was a slam dunk. And <laughs> it's true. I love it. So uh, that's going to do it for this one. But I definitely highly recommend these if you can get them for a reasonable price. And you're a huge Transformers fan. I definitely think it's worth 
uh, putting them together and having some fun with it. But like I said, that's going to do it for the video. So please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.